G'day guys, what I'm doing today is I'm changing the fuel filter. So the filter is inside the fuel tank. Uh, this is for a, um, a DL650 V-Strom. So what we need to do first is we need to remove the, uh, the fuel pump assembly. Uh, so we just need some Allen keys to undo uh, all of these and then um, then we remove it out. Okay, to remove uh, the fuel filter or the fuel pump itself, or the fuel pump assembly, you need a five mil Allen key. You just um, undo. It's not rocket science. A handy hint as well, if you didn't um, already figure it out, and I'm sure you probably would have, make sure you drain the majority of your fuel out of your uh, fuel tank or else it's just going to leak everywhere. Okay, so there's a tricky part with getting this out. What we have to do is pull it out, but there's a float attached to it. And you kind of have to get the float out as well. And so down in this part, down in here, basically all the way down the bottom, is the fuel filter. So we need to remove all of these things and, uh, and slowly pull it apart to get to the filter down the bottom. Ah, to do that, uh, you need a, a flathead, um, or to make it easy, just to keep it on the, on the same ball every way, uh, get yourself a, a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. Okay, so we start uh, by removing the top screws. You just need to remember where these cables go. And so it's pretty simple. It's not, uh, not rocket science, like I said. Okay, I'm going to need a pair of pliers just because I don't want to pull on these contacts too hard. I'm going to get a pair of pliers and, and, and pull them off. Okay, now that we've done that, taking the top off, we need to uh, remove this top top cover and that's just a matter of uh, get your wiggle 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 going and uh, and slide it okay you got to get your wiggle on but um, this this top part is actually a little bit hard to, to, to remove because you've got an o-ring sitting right in here that's kind of suctioned on and this little metal part is uh, is embedded into this part so you've got to really um, give it a bit of a pull to get it off. Risk of damaging the plastic. Alright, there we go. So she's off, and that, uh, that just pops straight up in the end. Still a whole bunch of fuel um, left in it, but that's alright. Okay, so once we have that part off, uh, what we need to do is remove this o ring. Okay, the little O-ring just sitting on top of this one uh, because we need to remove the second part of it down here and this O-ring will provide a, a whole lot of pressure and, and make it a bit harder than it needs to be. Alright, so that slides straight up. Okay. As you can see, I haven't played with this before, but this is the fuel filter, and this is this is the new one. This is the old one, so it's going to look like that in there. And there's a bit of gunk, uh, absolutely a bit of gunk in there. So I'm going to clean this up before I uh, put it all back together again, but clean out like all of this area in here too just sediment and crap left in the uh, in the fuel I guess it's pretty pretty make 
but that will all get cleaned up before I replace the filter. So anyway, to do the to replace the filter, all you need to do is just uh, pull this off. You pull it off, and uh, and just put the new one on. Okay, so that's all cleaned up a little bit. And what we're going to do is old filter, new filter. Put the new filter in. Uh, so we just need to bend down the sides so it fits in. Place it into the housing to start with. It's a little bit easier this way instead of trying to get it all sorted out. <clears throat> and then put the pump down on top of the filter. Okay, so make sure your O-ring, if it falls off, uh, just goes straight back on top of it. Then it's just a matter of uh, going through and assembling it all back together. So it's just a reverse cycle or reverse order of what you did to pull it apart. Making sure you put your O-ring back on. It's just a matter of going through, reconnecting wires where they need to be and attaching the rest of the parts as they were when you took them off. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, from there, all you need to do is just put it back in your fuel tank. 